Hey guys, Mr. Barrison, and I'm back with my final class of that video. Uh, this time we're looking at snipers. Um, it's probably one of my least played classes. Um, I don't snipe very often. Um, I'm not good, pretty much. Um, I only play it on long range maps, um, quite like on Fallen and Resistance. I never play them on like close combat maps because I just die lots. Um, just much easier to run uh, assault rifles if you want that kind of range. Uh, I prefer that. But anyway, so here I am with the MSR. It's probably my favourite sniper. Um, I quite like the L118 as well. Um, the, the bolt actions are definitely much better than the the auto, like the Barrett and the. Um, Whatever the other ones are, RSS, RSS, yeah, whatever it's called. Uh, I, just, I really don't like them, just simply because you want the accuracy when you're a sniper, and when you're trying to spray with a uh, barrack, this just doesn't work. The recoil too much. Um, that's why I quite like these bolt action ones. The MSR, especially, I like simply because it reminds me of the intervention from MW2, which I use quite a lot. Um, but the L18 is also pretty good. Biggest difference between them, I think, is the uh, reload time. Um, the MSR is quicker on that front. Um, but I don't know when I when I run it, when I use the L18, it seems to give me less hit marks. I'm not sure why. It doesn't do any more damage or anything, but it does seem better in that respect. Um, so. Either or, I would suggest whichever one takes your fancy, pick that. As for attachments, I don't like any of the attachments, so I just use uh, extended mags because I mean, some of the like echo scopes and things like that. The scope is good enough. That's what you want. You want the scope, the deep scope. Um, so I mean, like the thermals and things, I just don't use. Um, and efficiencies, uh, speed. This is probably one of my favourite ones. Um, it does actually make quite a big difference. You can run a lot faster with it. Um, you're quite slow with snipers anyway, so it helps to get that bit of extra boost. But does that, does that does help? As for perks, uh, I always run like the pan and quick draw and marksman. Marksman's really good with the sniper. Uh, I feel it does help. You see enemies at a long range. Um, I don't really, can't really think of any other third perk that's useful. Like, for example, Stalker is probably one of my. I absolutely hate using that with the snipers because it really skews your aim. But, as for quick draw, quick draw is useful. It's pretty much essential if you want a quick scope. And Flag Pan is very useful actually because we, quite often you get quite a lot of hit marks when you're using snipers. And it does help. But when you get a hit marker, you can just pull out your pistol quickly, slide the pan pro, and just do one bullet to finish them off. Um, so that's always good, which is why I normally run like the MP412 or the Magnum with my um, sniper. Uh, finally, kill streaks, uh, strike package. I normally use support because I die quite a lot with the sniper. Um, so it's quite nice not to have to worry about camping and camping out for your assault kill streak and things like that. It's quite nice to just run around and not have to care. If you die, you're still going to be used to your team. And as always, I run advanced UAV, double run, uh, and either EMP or assault air. Um, was it assault air drop? Assault air. Assault air drop. Um, I would definitely recommend that because the Juggernaut Recon. Um, although it's quite good, if you run the uh, airdrop, there's actually quite a high probability that you're going to get a juggernaut in one of the care packages. So I'd always, I'd always run that rather than running just the juggernaut by itself. And the EMP is useful in games of domination where people do get kill streaks and just help the team out if you want to play a team game. Uh, meanwhile, the airdrop is good in things like Team Deathmatch. There we go. Causing the Reaper. That would have done quite a lot of damage to my team, but easy. Taken down. 
Um, so yeah, apart from that, you get your stuns, frags, um, just normally like my other set of videos if you've, if you've seen them. Um, yeah, so I'll leave you enjoy the rest of this um, gameplay. And I'll probably get another video coming out. I said they said this in my last, but this is just the general overview of the weapons. I'll probably do a few individual ones on uh, different weapons I like. Like I've got a video for the PM9 up next. So um, keep stay tuned for that. And yeah, see you next, next time. Nighthawk, you are clear.
Just another day. Good job.